Del Mar has been working to create a sea level rise adaptation plan that balances both private and public interests. Everyone's worried about their houses, you know, getting moved or taken away, and it really affects people on a deep emotional level. People living along the coast in Del Mar are concerned about two words, managed retreat. So people just don't want that word anywhere. Managed retreat could mean relocating homes that are threatened by flooding. Yeah, if we implemented managed retreat and required those seawalls that exist today to come out and remove that front row houses, the, in the ocean would inundate all the way back to the railroad about 600 homes and turn it into a lagoon. In the proposed plan, managed retreat is not being considered. And instead, we're gonna focus on sand replenishment, management, and river dredging. We wanna defend those homes as long as it's possible to do so by maintaining a wide beach. If at some point we get higher than expected sea level rise and our sand management program isn't working, then we will consider whatever is state-of-the-art strategies 50 years or 70 years from now, which might include revisiting managed retreat. People living near the beach say even just talking about moving their homes is what's concerning them. Something no one wants. We've got some people estimated about 1.3 billion in real estate here. You had a 10 or a $15 million home on the beach and somebody was saying, you know, sea level rise is coming and maybe someday we need to think about moving you out of here. I get it. That would freak me out. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.